Grunfeld defense, exchange variation, 5.e4nxc36.bxc3bg7. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but Black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. Cxd5 opens up the center, after black recaptures with nxd5, white is prepared to answer with e2-e4. nxd5 recaptures the d5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. e4 takes full control of the center and attacks the knight on d5. Nxc3 trades the attack knight, and gives white a large center that black will attempt to attack. Bxc3 recaptures the knight and supports the d4 pawn. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. It is the last book move. This moves the queen to safety. It is excellent. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. This hits in the middle and prevents the opponent from gaining ground. That's good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is good. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing queen. It is excellent. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is incorrect. This prevents the adversary from winning a pawn. It is quite good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is ideal. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This threatens to kick a queen. It is best. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. This stops the opponent from being able to kick a queen. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is quite good. A solid choice. It is excellent. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This enables the adversary to win a tempo by posing a rook threat. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a rook. 
it is a mistake. As a result, the rooks are placed in a single file and are able to cooperate to pose a danger. That's good. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. This misses an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This permits the opponent to kick a rook. It is a miss. A pawn kicks the opposing rook, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is ideal. This disregards an improved method of getting a rook to safety. It is incorrect. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is a great move. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Backs off. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only good move. This threatens to promote a pawn to a queen. It is a great move. This threatens to win a rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That rook was free for the taking. It is forced. This is the only good move. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a rook. It is a mistake. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It falls flat. By moving it from the back rank, this activates the king in the end game. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's fine. It is good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This overlooks a safer approach to moving a queen. It is incorrect. There was just one smart move to be made. It falls flat. This leads to losing a pawn. This allows the opponent to fork pieces. It is a blunder. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only good move. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. It is a great move. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well but black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. The players battled pretty evently in the end game.